Welcome viewers, this is Green Gaia Tarot and today we are here with your weekly air sign and fire sign prediction reading. At first we will read from the air signs Aqua Gemini Libra, then we will go to the fire sign Aries Leo and Sagittarius. All the timestamps will be in the description below. And we are going to start our reading now from the air sign. Welcome Aquarius. This is your weekly prediction reading and we are going to see your cards now. Your first card is Eight of Swords. Your next card is the Knight of Swords. Oh, you have an extra card. Then you have the Knight of Rods, that is Knight of Wands. Okay, your last card is the Six of Cups. So Aqua, you will begin the week with so much worry and stress that clearly doesn't have a reality. You are in your head too much, you are worrying too much, you are thinking too much and stressing too much of nothing. Because whatever you are being worried, it is not the actual scenario that is the Eight of Swords energy. Because you can see this person is blindfolded and not seeing that she could easily walk out of all those swords that surrounding her because there are much gaps and she can go out. So this is kind of your energy that I am getting and you must not be there because those worries are not going to get you anywhere other than upsetting you more. And you will get out of there because the next card is the Knight of Swords that tells me that you will come out of that situation and move, for, move forward with strong and determined approach towards your future. And this will happen around midweek because the very next card is also the knight of rods that is the strong and passionate knight that also tells the moving forward so both of the knights are here so your progress is no doubt is will happen and you can be assured of that because the last card is the six of cups that tells me that you are going to find something very beautiful, something that is treasured to you, maybe for a long time, maybe someone or some loving situation will come back from your past, maybe you will find a childhood friend with whom you weren't in touch for a long time, and now you will find the chance or get connected and maybe you will find a new relationship that will last a lifetime that can also be happening if not the love scenario is for you then it can be a good opportunity of building up a corporate scenario to progress ahead or you can find a good partnership in your business or in your workplace that will give you a long lasting path of success. So Aqua this was your weekly prediction according to these cards. Let's find a guidance card for you guidance card for aqua this week guidance card for aqua. 
for this week is the card is I go where you go so aqua your guidance card says that you will be on just the right path because your angels and the source is there with you your road ahead is definitely blessed by them and you are going for your progress on the right path so aqua this was your weekly prediction reading thank you very much for your participation welcome gemini this is your weekly prediction reading and we are going to see your cards now your first card is the tower card your next card is the star card and your final card is the three of pentacles okay gemini this is a very big week for you that i can see because two of the cards are major arcana and the first card is the tower card that tells me that you are completing a chapter of your life and you are moving ahead with another because the tower card tells the breaking down of the old and rebuilding or reconstructing the new so you are going for that so something big is ending in your life successfully and something new is also coming because the very next card is the star card that is the wish fulfillment card the healing card so you are ending the chapter and you are going for something that you always dreamt of or wished upon a star and you are going to get it so this is a very high vibing week for you and you are going really strong because the last card is the three of pentacles that is the strong building strong foundation card you see this person is building something so there would be something new in this week for you that you will construct for your future and you have already waited and prayed for that outcome or that scenario in life for long and you are going to get it so gemini this was your prediction from this cards let's find a guidance card for you gemini's guidance card for this week gemini's guidance card for this week okay it's not only about being right so gemini your guidance is that you are maybe right in many occasions or in the situation you are going to be in but you have to find the heart and love and the compassion in you along with being right if you are right you cannot always find the right path with without compassion and love so it's okay you are right but if you are right you also have to be loving and compassionate so gemini this was your guidance for the week for the upcoming week thank you very much for your participation welcome libra this is your weekly prediction reading and we are going to see your cards now your first card is 9 of cups the next card is the high priestess and you have an extra card also the next card is the page of rods 
and the last card is four of cups okay let me see okay libra your first card is the wish fulfillment card that you are going to get something that you wished for or worked hard for for a long time and you are going to get it then comes the high priestess as the next card this is a major arcana and that tells me that you will find knowledge with that wish fulfillment that you are going to get and that knowledge will lead you to betterment but that knowledge will come with some information also that will disturb you because the very next card is the page of rods and the last card is the four of cups so page of rods is a very immature and fresh energy maybe you will start working with something new and that will be good for you because you will find some opportunity with the nine of cup you find some knowledge with the high priestess and you will start working with that too but there would be some childlike energy also working in you that will lead to some upsetting state of mind where you won't see the right offers or the right or the better options that you are given and you will be upset about some silly things that is not that much relevant towards your betterment because the page of rods energy is a immature one and the four of cup is reflecting that also because that person doesn't know better that person cannot decide better and see the actual opportunities so libra you have to be watchful about that kind of energies by the end of the week because you are going to start the week very strong and very good and very beautiful and you must carry on that energy instead of the page of rod or four of cups energy let's see libra what is the guidance for you guidance card for you okay you have two guidance cards you needn't worry don't be misled okay both of the card is telling you just write what i was telling that first two card is telling that you don't need to worry and last two cards are telling don't be misled so you have to be watchful you of your ideas and thoughts and views that will lead you to some upsetting situation inside your head or maybe around you also and that would be misleading for you so must not give up in those state of minds and you don't have to worry so don't worry just avoid those self sabotaging thoughts or immature thoughts and you will be all right so libra this was your weekly prediction reading thank you very much for your participation welcome aries this is your weekly prediction reading and we are going to see your cards now your first card is the 3 of cups Your second card is the 8 of cups and your final card is the moon card. Okay, Aries, you will start the week with celebration or some connecting energies that you will enjoy with your friends that you are not being able to friends or family. of course that there would be some celebrating energy but the midweek card is the 8 of cups that tells that you will move out of that situation 
or that scenario with a broken heart or maybe some upsetting thoughts and that will be disturbing for you and the final card is the moon card in both of the cards i can see the presence of the moon as you can see them also and in the three of cups also there is a so piece that tells that replicates the moon so three of the cards are kind of telling that moon energy is present so this celebration energy or the gathering is telling me there might be some deception or misleading or misguiding or manipulating energy is working and though you are celebrating probably not all of them are in your favor or a true friend or true family to you there is someone maybe that can be a double faced person and that person don't want you to know some information that person is hiding something from you and that will lead you to that disappointed state of mind where you will leave that joyful scenario with a heavy heart and the final card is the moon card so the energy is definitely heavy in this whole scenario and end of the week is also you are going to be in the shadows because in this card i'm not feeling anything good right at this point of time for you there would be some secrets some deceptions and some manipulation that will bother you let's see your guidance cards aries guidance card for aries okay your guidance card is they choose you okay finally it's not that dark energy in this one because the answer is they chose you so your guides telling you with this beautiful bright pink and golden card that you will be chosen over many or over someone else no matter what the situation or the scenario is you will find the place where you meant to be there might be some sabotaging energies working against you but you will find your way look closer in this card see there is a river and the moonlight is falling upon it if you can think clearly you can see it as a path and this path is lighted for you so end of the week might be heavy for you but you don't need to worry because you will find your way because you will be the chosen one no matter what no matter what other people will try to do regarding stopping you but they won't be successful you will be reaching your destined success or destined path so aries this was your weekly prediction reading thank you very much for your participation welcome leo this is your weekly prediction reading and we are going to see your cards now your first card is the magician 
your second card is the nine of swords and your final card is the world card okay leo this is going to be a big week for you because two of the cards are major arcana here the first card is the magician the magician is the very good card to have as the first card because the magician is able to create his reality his or her reality with whatever they have and they have every tool they need to create what they need to create for their betterment so leo your week will begin with a very good vibe but somehow you will be worried about something in the middle of the week that will keep you up in the night because the nine of sword is telling that but the last card is the world card and that is another major arcana that tells that you are going to complete a cycle or a chapter and that will be a good one and you will begin another one because it's a circle you are finishing something and something else is coming up for sure so leo this is a good and powerful week you have to be a little bit watchful about your thoughts in the middle of the week don't give in the stress let's see your guidance card guidance card for leo for upcoming week you glow we beam thanks look at this beautiful card leo so you don't have to worry you will be the center of the world of your world this week you will glow and we will beam the th people around you will find your bright side and that will be a very big thing and they will be grateful for you so you are going to lead this week with everything good and you are going to be the brightest beacon that will lead everyone around so leo you don't have to worry just be mindful about that in the middle of the week don't give up and don't overstress yourself because this is a very good week for you so leo this was your weekly prediction reading thank you very much for your participation welcome sage this is your weekly prediction reading and we are going to see your cards now your first card is the 5 of cups your second card is the 6 of pentacles and your final card is the king of cups so sag you are in a very saddened and heartbroken kind of feelings in the beginning of the week and that is keeping you from seeing the two cups that the lady holding that means whatever you have in your life you are not appreciating that or you are not being able to see those beautiful sides of your life because you are crying over something that is lost so you need to get out of that energy and you will get out of that energy because in the middle of the week we have the 6 of pentacles that is the balancing card that is the equal give and take card so you will balance out your energy and come out of that sadden state of mind 
and find yourself a bit a better and stable mental situation that will lead you to your prosperity or to your betterment or to your successful path because the last card is the king of cup and that is a very beautiful card you will be in touch with your emotional side but in a very positive way or you will find someone very loving in your life or if there is some not someone new you already have someone in your life but you will find better times with them or you will find good or beautiful memory creating times with your family and friends so sag you will start the week with some sad and negative vibes but in the middle of the week you will gather yourself up and build your path to prosperity and progress and by the end of the week you will be happy and jolly with your loved ones let's see the guidance card for you sag guidance card for sag guidance card for Sag okay yeah you needn't worry so you don't have to worry this is your guidance card Sag and everything will be all right so don't worry and just take care of your heart and mind and that way you will be happy and jolly for everyone else also you can't pour from an empty cup you have to take care of yourself first so Sag this was your weekly prediction reading thank you very much for your participation so viewers this was your air and fire sign weekly prediction reading hopefully you find some guidance from the reading Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Have a great week everyone. Thank you very much.